another team that has had a crazy summer window and a true window to remember continuing my season a window to remember with a premier league club and that club is aston villa guys losing one of the best players in premier league last year one of the players that will blow you away with his dribbling skills his ability to make so many chances jack Grealish left aston villa but that didn't kill the summer they made an unbelievable summer out of it bringing in so many talented players, bringing in so many great quality bodies to help replace Jack Grealish. And they've brought in really three players to help replace Jack Grealish, the likes of Emiliano Buendia, Leon Bailey, and Danny Ings. Obviously, Jack Grealish is a massive loss, but what they've done to uh, really rebuild and restructure this team has been fantastic. What they've done is brought in a guy on Leon Bailey who can play down the left-hand flank, Emiliano Buendia who could play on the right side and Danny Ings who's a proven Premier League goal scorer and it's just phenomenal to see how Aston Villa has recreated their side re refound a new shape and gives Dean Smith and, and they didn't just go take the money and pocket it they went and spent the money on Dean Smith and they backed him heavily they backed him so much that this team looks for me you could question my thoughts here but for me I think they look better than when they had Jack Grealish so far, it's obviously going to take a little little while to get the team running, get the team playing to their full potential, and and to get all the guys gelled together. With Leon Bailey coming back after injury, Danny Ings is obviously going to gel together well. Emiliano Buendia is going to take time. He's back in the Premier League, but he's still playing fantastically. But you can't expect this team to immediately just join up and be phenomenal. They're going to take some time. They're younger players. You got some very very top quality players, and you got some great leaders on this team now. And you will see eventually a midfielder come in. That is what Aston Villa do need. But the way they've restructured this team, for me, it looks better than when Jack Grealish was there. This team was so centered around a pass the ball to Jack Grealish. Let Jack run at the defense. Let Jack create fouls. Let Jack score goals and create chances. Now you got many guys in this Villa side who will create chances, who will score goals, who will help the offense. you got got Danny Ings, a proven Premier League goal scorer, who's going to bag you at minimum 15 goals probably this year maybe 20 plus across all competitions who knows Danny Ings is a phenomenal goal scorer we've seen it throughout many years in the Premier League no one saw that transfer coming and it was amazing get him for around 29 million pounds a great transfer with bonuses I think it came up to around 30 ish but he was an unbelievable transfer no one expected that to happen one of the best signings of the summer and then you also had them bringing in Emiliano Buendia two years ago when Norwich was in the Premier League he was the Premier League most creative player he was phenomenal for Norwich he was amazing and in the in the championship he had another year to progress he was phenomenal there and they've made a brilliant buy by bringing Emiliano Buendia into Aston Villa helping them rebuild that creativity that you're losing from Jack Grealish and then you, on the left flank you go and pick up Leon Bailey one of the most qu- quick exciting wingers in CONCACAF and in the Bundesliga last year and for many years and he's always been rumored to be coming to the Premier League. And he finally has come for around £32 million. Pounds. A great deal from Aston Villa. Like I said, Aston Villa for me was so focused on, let's pass it to Jack. Let's see what Jack will do. Let's, let's give it to Jack. And it was so pressured on him that you didn't have another option. You did have another option with Ollie Watkins, Birch and Traore and so on. But it was so focused on him. So heavily focused on if it doesn't go to Jack, how are we going to win? Now you got game changers like Danny Ings. you got game changers like Leon Bailey, Emiliano Buendia, Oli Watkins, Bertrand Traore, even El Ghazi off the bench, which we've seen this year. So many different players who are game changers and scorers. And you can create a new system, a new setup that will help the rest of the team. That'll give the fans a better future and gives this team a better future. Because honestly, you can't play every game. Let's pass it to Jack. Let's let Jack take the game to himself. Yes, Jack Grealish is probably one of the best players in the Premier League, but he still shouldn't have the weight in his shoulders every game. And I love how they've created the side and rebuilt it. The fact you go and get a top class right midfielder, the fact that you get to go go and get a top class left left winger, you're building a side for the future and also for the now with Danny Ings, who's still 29, but gives you many years to play. And you have Ollie Watkins to jump right in there and back him up. You can play a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-3-1. Bailey and Buendia should be your wingers automatically now with Bailey coming back to full fitness. Danny Ings should always be your striker. Ollie Watkins, an amazing sub who can play off the left flank or down the middle. You have El Ghazi out there. You also have Bertrand Traore, who is, for me, a fantastic winger. And then you also, the guys, the signings who I haven't even talked about yet. Ashley Young. He's 35, yes. He's on a free transfer. That transfer cannot be doubted enough. He is a 
Premier League winner. He's an experienced fullback. He's an experienced winger. He's just going to bring you experience. He's going to bring in a winning mentality. And he's going to step up the locker room. And he's going to say that he's going to boost the mentality. He's going to boost the experience. He's going to tell the guys this is how it should be done. You should lift your heads up. He's, he's one of those players that you can count on. And you should be able to count on in big time games, big time moments. Also a great rotational player. And I really like the signing of Ashley Young. And that shouldn't be doubted. Axel Tuanzebi for me is a kind of interesting one. For me, he shouldn't be starting for them. I think it should be a Konza and a Tyro Mings. I think they've been fantastic for many years. I think Konza is going to be a brilliant center back for England for years to come. I highly rate Axel Tuanzebi. Obviously, as a Manchester United fan, I don't think it was the right move for him to go back there. But it's a brilliant fast. Villa gives him some depth. He can play there. He's a phenomenal center back. But they do have a lot of conflict in center back now. Three top class center backs, three English center backs. And that's an interesting uh, kind of mix they got there. But I just want to round up the departures, guys. But they've made some amazing signings. Getting out some dead wood. Tom Heaton leaving on a free. You got Bajorn Ingles for me. Amazing to get 3.5 million pounds for him. Ali Samata. Obviously, he did not work out in the Premier League, unfortunately, from that Tanzanian striker. He still got his goal, making a Premier League record. But getting 6 million pounds for him from Fenerbahce, great piece of business. And obviously, Jack Reelish leaving for around 115 million pounds. That's still a great piece of business. You get a lot of money for Jack Grealish. Everyone will love Jack Grealish no matter what. He didn't leave Aston Villa in a poor way. He didn't do what Harry Kane has done with Tottenham. And he still has a perfect relationship with the fans. And I hope one day Jack Grealish does go back to Aston Villa to wrap up his career. Maybe with a one-year deal or something. Just as a farewell. Because we obviously all know he loves and adores the club. And the fans will always love him. But guys, Aston Villa have had a true window to remember. And this is a very fun series I love doing with you guys. And we're going to have many more. Another one coming out today. But Aston Villa's had an amazing summer rebuilding the side after Jack Grealish has left. And they've done it in a perfect way. It'll take time from the gel. But I think they're ultimately going to have an unbelievable season. Guys, Leon Bailey, Buendia, Danny Ings, Ashley Young, and Axel Tuanzebi. All amazing signings and all brilliant to rebuild this Jack Grealish list side. But guys, let me know what you guys think of Aston Villa's summer. And how we've done business this summer without Jack Grealish. And the departure Jack Grealish. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And guys, hit the like button. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.